Hey there, it's Joseph from RoboFlow. Today, I'm gonna show you a community spotlight. That means someone that used RoboFlow to build something super cool. If you want to feature your project on the RoboFlow blog, on the YouTube channel, and share with our thousands of subscribers and our email newsletter and other places, be sure to use the link in the description to submit your project. So today I'm gonna to be highlighting something that was a quarantine project from a software developer in Wales, United Kingdom. Adam Crawshaw found himself playing a lot of Uno during quarantine. And if you're like me, you might think that, hmm, how would you use computer vision to make Uno be more fun? It actually stands in the details. For starters, Uno isn't won by the first person to get rid of all of their cards. In fact, buried in the official Uno rulebook, which don't worry, I also didn't read, is this rule here, which says the first of 500 points wins. And the way that you earn points in Uno is you get rid of all your cards, and then based on the number of cards your opponent still has, you sum up each of those cards where each card is worth a different number of points. For example, the skip is worth 20 points, the draw two is worth 20 points, and then any of the zero to nine cards are just worth their face value. So a card with a four is worth four points, for example. So our uh, subject here, Adam, found himself playing a lot of Uno and get a little tired of counting all of the cards uh, that he still had in his hand or his opponent still had in their hand. And so he used computer vision to automatically identify the value that a given card was and then sum them up. His results are truly stunning. Look at this run in real time. Adam here lays down each of the cards and you can see the computer vision algorithm identifies the number on the card. And on the right, you can see it's saying the probability for each of those cards in real time and doing the sum score. How did he do it? Well, let's do a little bit of an overview here. First and foremost, Adam had to collect a bunch of data. He collected a bunch of cards. Specifically, he took about uh, four photos of each card. So four photos of the three, four photos of the draw two, et cetera, et cetera. And then he labeled the number in the upper left-hand corner. Critically, Adam did not label the number in the upper right-hand corner, or excuse me, the upper left-hand corner and the bottom right-hand corner, but only the upper left-hand corner because he didn't want to count a card twice. He only wanted to count the upper left-hand number. Once he had four versions of each of these cards, meaning 41 source images and all of those labels, he used a little bit of open CV to lay cards on top of each other and put them in a variety of different backgrounds. So for example, he put these three cards on this different textured background. In fact, he grabbed a bunch of different textured backgrounds from the Oxford Describable Textures data set and voila, he had backgrounds like this. All in all, he created a data set of 8,992 examples of all these labeled cards. Whew. With that amount of data, he was ready to train a model, but not so fast. With that raw data, he had to do a little bit of augmentation and pre-processing. Specifically, he wanted all of his images to be 416 by 416 and augment the images to say, uh, in, uh, randomly crop to zoom in on part of the images, to do rotations and flips and things like this so that his data would uh, be more representative of the problem that he was trying to solve. I mean, you get it, Adam could be in a room that might be brighter or darker. If that room's brighter, he still wants his machine to work, or his phone to work just as well on detecting the cards. If it's darker, the same thing is true. So he used RoboFlow, like random crops, brightness, changes, etc., to improve the variation of his data in his data set. Now, Adam actually had nice things to say about RoboFlow in this process because he had his data on RoboFlow, but wanted to train in a variety of different places. He tried Colab Notebooks, he tried Managed Notebooks on Google Cloud Platform, and Adam had something to say like, quote, the data is right there, it's in the right format, and I know it's all there. It goes from God knows how many lines of code to whatever it needs so that my data is easily available in any environment. That's right, with RoboFlow, he was able to export to the YOLO format, to TensorFlow format, to PyTorch, to try a bunch of different models. Now, Adam tried a few models from the RoboFlow model library, like YOLO v3 and MomoNet SSD v2. Actually, when I caught up with Adam recently, he said he was recently trying YOLO v5 in comparison to YOLO v3, though this post is written in the context of using YOLO v3 for these results. He deployed his model using TensorFlow Lite to his Android device. 
And with that, it was able to run on device and create the stunning results that he shared with us above. Wow, really, really, really well done of a project. Adam, hats off to you, and thanks so much for sharing your story with Global RoboFlow. If you want to recreate Adam's results, Adam was kind enough to release the open source data set. That's why right. if you go to public.roboflow.ai, you'll see the Uno cards data set. You click in and you have all the 8,992 images and the V1 version with 21,582 images that Adam augmented. You can go ahead and fork this data set to your own account or download it locally. Now, Adam was kind enough to make the data set MIT licensed, which means you could build a commercial application that scores UNO cards automatically. But it's not just any MIT license. Adam was careful to say, I want to use the Hippocratic MIT license, which means do no harm. So only make well-intended UNO games. Now, with all that said, please have a look at the post links in the description. And if you want to share your story, your community story of how you use computer vision, fill out the form. Link is in the description. Cannot wait to hear what you've built with RoboFlow and computer vision. Thanks.